Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to be attempting, it's a key word, to do a Bob Ross tutorial, the king of painting, with alcohol markers. Well this is going to be fun. Not. <laughs> um, so we'll just get started there's no time like the present to just get into it hi welcome back certainly glad you could join us today i right. we'll just do a fantastic little painting that i don't believe you'll really enjoy Aww. so let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along I don't with have us doing that. let me show you what i got up here I have my standard old double prime pre-stretch canvas, oh, and today I've, I've taken right. a little piece of contact paper and just cut an oval out of it, and then we've covered the whole. Also, it doesn't help that I've got like thin, even coat so many. Um, so the canvas is all wet. It's ready well, to go. I've so got different types. I've got let's, let's just Copic. I've got today, I think Spectrum I'll start, Noir and oh, Spectra AD. I'm going to take just the smallest amount of cad yellow. I just very, have very one shade of yellow. yellow. We don't need much today. Oh, I think today God, we'll I'm do the little seascape right? that you see at the beginning of the show. Guinea. I'll show you how that was made. And this will not be an, an exact duplicate of that, but it, it'll be very close. Okay, we'll just take a oh my God, that little looks one inch brush and just make sort of a little yellow circle right there. Right there. Without cleaning the brush, I'll pick up a least little touch of the yellow ochre. And we're, uh, we're really these orange. Very color here. There. There's not a great deal of color on the canvas. Something oh, about like it. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There we go. Now then, let me wash the old brush. Okay, now we just wash our brush with odorless paint thinner. Since these are oil paints, that's what we use. There we go. Now then, let's take, mix up a little color here. I'm going to take some white and a little phthalo green mixed together. Now, phthalo green is sort of a well, it's sort of an emerald green. green. It's a gorgeous oh. color. Very strong though. I've got different colors of green. This is a lighter green. Be very I'm careful use this one. That much. I will put a little of that right on the little one inch brush. And I'm going to go right out here. Right red? That, what? And just drop in a little bit of that. Like so. I've got a lot He's of doing that. people are asking for just a very simple little seascape that's quite effective. And this is the one that I've yeah. I think you'll enjoy. So I chose it. Simple. I think you'll enjoy it. Now then, same color, except I'm going to add a little bit of the midnight Ooh. black. So I have a little green, a little white, and midnight black. Just want to dull it down a little bit. Okay. Oh my and god, that looks right awful. Look at that. That looks... What he's using looks way more blue. Oh gosh. This is way more green. You know what, let me add some blue. Oh, yeah, this is me attempting to make a big paper into a small paper because I don't want to ruin, like, literally use up all my markers for this. But um, if I just get this blue. Oh, no, I should have put, should have put this on over the top. Why did I just use a chisel tip? Okay, I'll just use a chisel tip with this as well then. Um, and then just go over it to that. Mm. Ah, screw it, I'll do it. I don't care at this point. Yeah, that doesn't really make much of a difference. It honestly doesn't make so much of a difference at all. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that doesn't make a difference. Let me add a different blue. I've got this blue. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's better. It's way better. Oh my god, it's still bad, but also, what is it with this soaking through the paper from the bottom? I mean, this is printer paper, but still, I'm pretty sure my parents paid good money for that printer paper. I know it's for to to print on, but let's go over that. I'm, so, I'm pretty sure this is a different green than I used before. 
Oh, I need to blend the orange. It's orange, right? Orange. Oh, oh I'm stressing. Oh, I'm stressing. He does it so quick as well, but I suppose that's because he's using what you're actually meant to use. And I, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um. Just blend. Blend. Oh my god, that looks absolutely terrible. Oh my god. Look at Bob's compared to mine. You know what? Let me go around and make it a bit more of an even circle. The keyword was a bit. Oh my god. Oh. 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 So close. Oh. Is this the same one? Yeah. really wasn't designed for this was it oh i think i'm using the wrong blue oh yes i was using the wrong blue so it's been two minutes 28 for him he's done the intro and everything and i've done the intro and everything it's been seven minutes recording probably not going to keep all that in because I don't know how much longer oh 228 I have a 26 minute video oh gosh I'm going to be in for a long long time what we're trying to achieve here is the illusion that it gets progressively darker as it goes oh, on oh I need to have a darker side. blue on the outside there should I just use a blue yeah then same colour same color, so we have phthalo oh, blue, yeah. white, black, that. That and works. I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue, just to change the flavor and make it a little flavor? darker. Flavor? A little darker. What flavor was it? And we'll just fill up the rest of the sky with that. It feels like an atom. That easy. And we have a basic idea, maybe our water line will be right along here somewhere. At this point, water we're line? Really what? Concerned. We'll what is this later. even meant to be? Right now we're just applying some color to the canvas. There. See, we already have a, a masterpiece for the Museum of Modern Art right there. We could stop. Really? All right. I just like to wash the brush. Okay. Yeah. Not the same. Oh, how's he? Can't do that. Let's continue. Now then, let's let's begin blending. But today I'm going to blend a little bit different. Normally I just do a little crisscross. Today I'm going to touch and push. Let's touch touch and, push. and push. I want to make this look like there's little push. rays of light coming touch out from here, without actually having rays of light. I just want to give that impression. Just give that just impression, eh, Bob? This is the way that we'll blend it. Turn the brush over occasionally so that I get a little bit of that color in here. This right. blending is god awful in this paper, man. The least little bit of titanium right on that same brush. Eh, it's uh, it's not tattooing. actually the worst. It's, it's better than I could hear. Like so. I mean, I already tried to film this video and use a different and tutorial and. And, uh, over, and you will not believe the effect that you can create. Yeah. There we go. And all we're doing here is just tapping, pushing. And I'm doing it quite firmly as you probably see. Hi, Bro. Hi. Come on in. Come on, watch. I'm trying to. It's coming out 
He's, oh, he's trying to blend honestly, and I can't blend like that because I think I've used too much of a green. Oh, you're using your copic. I'm using too much of a green color here. Uh. On this, look, he's used like. It's, he said green. He said emerald green, and then I just messed it up. Well, let me see if I've got. I tried to do one, and all I did was a line in the sky, and then I just. Oh, look, light blue, light blue. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does that work? It's better than it was. I think. One of the most gorgeous skies you've ever seen. And you don't have to limit it to seascapes. But what is time? That's all I can say. What do you mean? So am I. I just take some. Now it's time to just him. <laughs> did you do it? How do you do other things? Hang on, Jake. I just realised something. What? He's using a brush, and you're using brush pen. Yeah, but uh, it's very <laughs> different. <laughs> you wash the brush, and you'll start all over again with a little bit of white. Do what? Just one more time, real quickly, so you, you can just see just start all over again. The effect that happens here. <laughs> That's the brush. It's really fun to do. That's a bit that's really fun. And he's using white now. Oh. And now we're going to do the lightest area. Oh. I said I didn't have any white bob. Can't you just do it? Oh, wait. I just realized he already filmed this. Like ages ago. See if I can use uh, this. Oh, peach might work actually. Oh, wait. Can I see the one you did earlier? Oh, wow. That's good. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Don't put yourself down. Same for you guys out there. Even though I put myself down sometimes. But it's not the same, okay? Bye. <laughs> Alright. And right on up here a little bit. Yeah. This particular paint this. Basically I'm just going to leave it. I don't really think I need to do so, that. I know there's going to be some clouds and stuff. Oh, it's a different shape. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, guys. Alright. One more time, we'll wash the old brush. Actually, I just like to keep the camera crew on their toes. There. Now then, very lightly, very lightly, just blend the entire sky. And that effect will still remain in there. You still will see that. It looks like it's just, life's just exploding. There. I mean, mine definitely looks like something's exploded. And you can blend um, any degree of softness that you want. It's up to you. Remarkable. Right, right there, just take the corner of the brush, lift it off. Well, just use it. a here, color left blender over all of it. Brushes. They do have a tendency to shed a little bit, especially during mating season. It, dr it dries so like that. Here, just take the corner of the brush and pop it off. All right. Now yeah, we'll use the same old brush. And we'll go right back into the color that we had there. It's a little green, a little black, a little blue, white. A little color right onto the bristles like this. This is stressful. Something like so. And we'll go right up in here and maybe. Guys, maybe just so you know, I do know this is a very different video. Tap. This one's tapping and giving it a little push. Darker push. blue, right? There. Let's try a dark blue. Something like that. I, had a little I really hope this isn't too yeah, dark. Maybe. It shouldn't be, should it? I think there's one about here too. So I say this won't be an exact duplicate of the one you see at the opening. It'll give you an idea of how it was made. And then you, you make your own masterpiece. Like so. A little darker color. And maybe up here at the top you can make out the indication of a few little clouds. And then we up here. Oh my there. god. Loads of ink just came off of that. Oh god, brush. that's gonna... And one more time. Nothing else. This is a good exercise in keeping the brush clean. Very lightly, one hair and some air. You just blend this, just blend it, and go right across the entire sky, very gently, and blend it all together. Hang on, Bob. Yeah, that. Oh. 
sure if I've used too dark of a blue, but but this is what's right right, because I can do that. We doesn't really do anything. Yay! Kind of just makes it look even worse. Yay! Oh my god, that is so bad. Holy. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, no, nothing can save this really, can it? <laughs> oh my god. It looks nothing compared to Bob's. I beat the brush once again, only to remove excess paint. It's just, it's much faster and easier than going through the whole cleaning procedure. And it'll clean it pretty well. Now, maybe in our room we'll put a little sun up here. We'll take a little white paint, a little titanium white. And I don't want this to be real bright, just enough so that you can see it. And then very gently, you can blend right over the top of that. You see, now we have the sun, the indication of some rays coming out, and some happy little clouds. That easy. That easy. Now, major decision. Where's our water line? Let's take, we'll use black, phthalo green, little phthalo blue, little white. I don't want this water too Sorry, dark. Sorry, Bob. Today. Something about like that. Happy mistakes, right? Dark. And big decision time. Maybe our water line is right along here. Oh. Right along here. And if you have trouble making a water line that's halfway straight, which I do frequently, I have a tendency to sort of run to one side or the other. You can put a piece of masking tape across there before you start painting. And it'll assure that your water line is exactly where you want it. You just pull the masking tape off once you have the sky finished. You know, it's fantastic. We get hundreds and hundreds of letters from people all over the country that are painting and, and people send me photographs. But recently, right here at the station where it's filmed, they had a little contest. I want to show you I want to show you a picture that a young man did, a couple of them, in fact, named Chris, that lives right here in Muncie, Indiana. Can you believe this? He brought these in and let me look at them, because he won the contest, and you can certainly see why. Chris, you're doing fantastic. But these are the kind of things that I love to see, because they make it all worthwhile. This young man's probably, oh, I don't know, 15 years old or so, I'm guessing. But he has one heck of a painting future ahead of him. So congratulations, Chris. There, all I did is just fill that up with a little color. Felt like it. And we can wash the old brush again. There. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. All right. Let me find a little fan brush. There was some little headlands back in the background. So I use a little black. A little black, little... A little bit of the blue, a little phthalo green, same exact colors. We just change the proportions a little bit, so it has a little different flavor. Maybe in our world, there lives. Oh, there's a little. Yep. Don't do that. that. Is right there, barely touching. He said flavor there. The more color that you want, the harder you push. It'll get darker and darker that way. Maybe. Yeah, oh, little bump right there. Try to make it an overall, sort of like what he's done. It's your world. So you really decide how you want these to look. It's up to you. It's really and truly up to you. Painting is such an individual thing. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. But is it... That's the way it should be. Oh my god, the middle is so much... Oh, so dark. Eyes. What's he doing? And the way you see it is the way it should be painted. Well, I don't see it. Yeah, just take the big brush and sort of pull that out chisel. a little bit. He's doing like a like mountain so. range. That's yeah, too light. Oh. I'll take a little white. I'll touch maybe the fatal green, but mostly white. White. Here's our yeah. light source. All you have to do is just sort of tap. Just tap. This is a very simple way of putting some little highlights back here. On these little headlands. There. I can. There we go. Let me. Go over that and asking if there's any possibility of seeing these paintings that are done on television. And recently, the Minatrista Cultural Center here in Muncie has started 
a tour that's going to go all over the country. And they have, well, in fact, they'll, they'll, have, the, they'll have the entire television set. They're going to have my easel, everything. It'll travel all over the country. And I think there's about 30 paintings there that come out of the hardcover book, the original painting. So if you've ever wanted to see any of these actual paintings, uh, sort of check around and see if it's going to be in your town. Because I think you'll enjoy it. They've put a tremendous amount of work into this exhibit. Oh, Bob, yeah. what do you mean? Do you not want them to see this? I think you'll really love it. Yeah, no, nobody would want to see that, would they? But you can actually see the easel that we use mm. here. And, and I'm even going to donate my dirty old shoes that, over the years of, of beating the brush above them. The, the paint sort of falls on them. The tops are green. You don't ever get to see that. So if it comes to your town, come out and see us. We'll have people there that are talking and showing you how to do it. And it's just going to be a good time. All right. Let's start putting in some little waves and stuff in, back in here. Oh my God, there's still, waves there's still more than 10 minutes waves. left. I'm going to use a small knife. Pull the thing out flat. Got a little thalo green and white here. Very little thalo green. A little bit of paint. And now, you know, very firm, I need dark blue. To bend the blue. Because Decide in here where all the little things are there. And you can just begin all right. very firmly. That's not too bad. Indication of little waves that are far, far away. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, far away. Yeah. It's actually looking not too it's bad. It's that easy. There. And this is probably the simplest type of seascape to make. Even if you've never painted a seascape before, this one you can I've do. never done it in markers. In fact, I've actually never do. ever done a seascape before. Sometimes so. seascapes give people the a little difficulty. This one's easy. A little difficulty? This one's easy. What? There we go. A few little things here and there. Well, maybe but it is see, with paint, the but paint with markers it is. The illusions. Maybe. Maybe there's another one. I remember right in here somewhere. There. But firm. Really. This is where you take out all your frustrations with the cameras. You get in there. Uh, Steve, my son, says, he says, Moosh is in there. Bob said, get your frustration out. Should we continue? I don't know if that's really a word or not, but you certainly understand what he's saying. Just Moosh it in there. <laughs> uh, Moosh. There was one more, maybe right in here. We had a little boat in there. I'm gonna try to put a little boat in there. Bob, I don't know if I can do that step because I don't have any white. White. H. And you can go back. W. H. I. T. E. White. Whatever. And wherever. All right. Yeah, guys. Now then, I want to create the illusion up here. Oh, that's still ten minutes. Sand's a little wet. So we can take a little white paint Sounds wet. and just pull it downward like that. Just pull it downward. Grab it in with a large brush, pull it, and go across. That easy. And make it look like that's wet. Now then, to do our little boat. The easiest way that I've found, take the knife and begin scraping out just a little basic idea. That'll sort of help you lay out your perspective and everything. Just lay it out. Shoom. It comes right up in here. We have the front. We have the other side. Down. Back. And then it'll come back in here. Something about like that. Then you can scrape out all this excess. There we go. Oh, he's drawing a boat. I'll tell you what, let's use, let's use a little filbert brush. I'm oh, going to make a little brown that. out of some sap green. Some sap green. Some sap green. Mm, we should make a song with it. There. Yeah, you can take this to the green hue, green side, or the, or the reddish side. He's Something literally good. made the color of poo. I don't usually like it a little to the reddish side, but it's it's an individual thing. Okay, and wipe off the old knife. Oh no, tell me what to do. Now then, take a little filbert brush. A filbert. And we can just begin Do you say filbert? Just begin filling it in. Something oh, like God. There. And here it comes this way. And this is yeah, just a I don't know what happened boat. there. 
Maybe, maybe the guy parked it here when he ran up on the beach somewhere. Who knows? There, I'm going to take a little black and begin filling in some of the darker areas. There. Yeah, well, there. I'm just going to fill it all in black, so. Okay, maybe a little black and white, make a little grayish color. Bring it white. Right on here. Just so that stands out a little. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, that looks. And then underneath here, a little dark color. So we'll get a little shadow I, right there. Mm. 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 Like so. Oh my gosh. That's why it's not meant to the too. markers because they dry absolutely yeah, instantly. I mean, look here. No smudging. Literally no like smudging. Color. They're not wet, and, and I right literally have none on my finger when I do that. Like that. Uh, wash the little brush. No, I even drew the wrong type of bow. Of titanium. Uh, uh, you can just use it <gasps> like so. And back here in the back of the boat. Maybe there's some. Trum, huh? See? There we go. Mm. Something like so. I've drawn, drawn such a different there. boat to him. There, it's parked up there on the beach. And just, as I say, maybe he. It's a beat. How is that a beat? Take a little break and maybe he caught a little fish out there he brought up here to cook. How you did. Know, uh, just make up little stories. It really helps bring everything together. Little stories. Once there was a boy named Jake who tried to draw a Bob Ross painting with Marcus and failed miserably. And we'll put the indication here that maybe there's a little water sort of settled around it. Just a little. I mean, I've kind of done that. Shoot, sometimes it's even nice. Maybe. I mean, kind of. So you can even see. It's bled through so much onto my table, but I was already like that. Just a little touch. A little touch. Yeah, okay. And that'll help give the impression that there's water all around this bottom. Yeah. Sometimes back here, I'm going to play a little, a little bit back in some of the ways that you take just a little dark color. He's only right gone and done a reflection, hasn't like he? Upstanding. Or standing up. <laughs> At least a little bit of dark That's color funny. right underneath, and it gives depth underneath. As I say, I'm going to keep this one simple, I promised. But yeah, you promised it would be simple, didn't you? Yeah. That, didn't, that wasn't it's really a promise you could keep, was it, Bob? That there's depth under your water. You didn't consider the people, the, the idiots who might do it with markers, if you, did you? If you want some of the big crashing waves, they've really, no. they really done some that have some nice waves in them. I know that a few people have done yeah. it and they've turned out yeah. decent, maybe, but maybe, maybe this is just a, a you know. Here, right up in here. So for that, we'll take a little sap green, a little bit of that brownish color that we made. Like so. And I'm just going to take a one inch brush and just sort of... Pop in a little indication oh my gosh, here. Some what have I Maybe some over here if I remember too. Something like that. Doesn't much matter. However you want. Yeah, we push that up like that. Okay. He just added brown. And underneath there, we'll take a little. He's just kind of done this. Light, mix it together. Need some soil for all this to set on. Just like so. A little bit of, little bit of dirt under there. I say, if you get a chance to, to watch this little exhibit when it comes to your town, I really think you'll enjoy it. Stop plugging. Really I'm so proud of it. So many fantastic people have put so much work into it. It's, it's really beautiful. Yeah, and you haven't. I'm just taking a little paint and a little bit of the brown. It's nearly done now. It up a little bit so it can make it near. He just kind of added these things in, which. I sort of have done yeah, in a worse way okay. than he okay, has. The there. Okay. Maybe. Maybe yellow ochre, little oh. white, and paint thinner. We'll put in a few right in here. 
And some of them have little doodies hanging on the end. You just take the oh my brush gosh. and just put them hanging on there. It's a little easy. No real problem at all. There we right. kind of go. Yeah, uh, doesn't really have that wow of a bubble. A little white. Some of that brown color we like. A little yellow ochre. I want to make a nice little color like it. Don't over mix it. See how marbly that is? That's what we're looking for. Because when you cut off that little bit of paint, it'll be right there in the same way. And when we put it on the canvas, it'll still come out with all those variations that you wanted in there. So that's what we're looking for. I just want to put the indication of a little light zinging across here. Yeah, I sorry, I can't, can't do that. Very, very touchy. I've seen all these Bob just Ross challenges online. Here. I'm like, like oh, they've actually turned little out little good. Maybe I could do it. I do it. That's easy. And it turns out. Right. Shoot. I'll take uh, all the greens and the browns. Uh, yeah, Bob, I've actually, actually messed up. I'm really sorry, Bob. Like that. Yeah. Right. You got a second left here. I'll take a little bit of. I'll just use a little midnight black. On the liner brush, give your paint to its almost, almost ink consistency. Maybe an hour we'll back ink. here. Maybe there's some ink. little birds playing. Is he singing sounds? Little young birds. You just make a little imp. Birds. Tiny little things that are far, far away. Oh, I can there. use this for that. Now, the moment of truth. If we bring the camera up here, let's pull the old contact paper off and, and take a look to see it at how well we did today. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? That's one of the most neat little ideas we've ever come up with. I think we introduced the contact paper idea back in the third series. Way back then, we, we were cutting out shapes and putting them on and painting around them. Yeah, they do not look like that. It's almost um, become a standard. People are doing it all over the country. All over the country. I'm going to take a little red little paint thinner. Oh, wow. I think this little painting is about ready. I can't really add anything else to that without. I make it looking bad. So guys, that's the finished thing. It is absolutely terrible. So, so yeah. But I finished. It could have been worse. I, I have to say it could have been worse. Um, but I mean, still absolutely awful. Yeah, let's just uh, show mine here, as you can see. And now Bob Ross's. Mm. Yeah. Well. I mean, Bob Ross is obviously, like, a really great artist. And he's been doing it for really long. And he's obviously used paints, as I've used markers. So, yeah. <laughs> oh god that stank um but yeah the only thing that i actually did good that kind of bob rusted as well was this even though it was not as good as him either <sighs> well on that note i'm just gonna say bye uh i hope you enjoyed uh, this video um, I hope you enjoyed my pain and struggle um, and pretty much this is what the end of a like a challenge video oh my god guys I did not realize how good this would turn out I'm really happy with it mine oh, this was awful uh, the pain uh, but yeah, anyway, bye guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video, um, I was going to say as much as I enjoyed making it, but I didn't enjoy making it, so, I mean, obviously I enjoy having the cameras and stuff, but you know what I mean by, like, I didn't really enjoy it because it was painful, it hurt me, um, but yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, um, now please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. But yeah. Also, I'm really sorry how many times I've said I hope you like this video. Bye! Do, do.